Apparently, you didn't hear my question. I heard you. I'm not answering because it's none of your damn business. Chris, you drew your own blood. Now you're having it tested for a parasite that's associated with viral myocarditis? Why? I haven't been feeling very well, so... Shortness of breath, fatigue, rapid heartbeat, probably just the flu. Any chest pains? Look, I'm prone to acid reflux. I thought, hey, what the heck, I'll just test for everything else. So if you don't mind, I'm gonna... You know, this isn't a joke. If you've contracted a viral infection that's affected your heart, you need to have a chest x-ray and an EKG. Look, last I heard, you're a neurologist, not a cardiologist. Excuse me. Stop it. Just listen to me, will you? Back off, okay? I can handle it. Hey, I, I know you told me to go home. Hey, Reed. What is going on here? You guys? Everything okay? No, everything's not okay. Chris has a... patient who could be very ill. He brought me in to consult on the case. I was just telling Reed, now that I got his opinion, um, I can handle it from here, so. I think you may still need my help on this one, Chris. You think so? See, the patient's family is dragging their feet about performing any more diagnostic tests. They are in denial about the severity of his condition. He may have contracted a heart disease that could be fatal. Oh, that's awful. You know, this is privileged. Maybe we shouldn't be talking about it in front of Katie. No, there is an exception to privilege if the physician thinks that the patient's life is in danger. Yeah, well, this case is not at that point. I hope so. If you need me, you know where to find me. That seemed very intense. Do you want me to leave? Oh. Mm, glad you came back. Reed, just the man I was looking for. I hear you're going to that union thing later today. I suppose so. Waste of time if you ask me. Reed, if Bob wants you to go, you should go. Reed. Uh, uh, sorry, I'm just, I'm thinking about this case. So I was walking Margot to her car and I realized that I probably shouldn't leave you here and you probably shouldn't drive yourself home because what if you passed out behind the wheel? That was a one-time thing. You hope. So I think the best thing to do is bring you home with me. Mm. And we could play doctor. And I would give you a very thorough examination. I bet you would. And I would love to. But I can't. Um, I should probably look in on that patient I was discussing with Reed. Um, but can I get a rain check? Sure. You're really worried about that patient, are you? Well, it's, it's just that if it's what I think it is, I'm going to have to do some quick follow-ups. And um, speaking of which, would you just excuse me one second? Sure. Okay, I just gotta... Hi, uh, it's uh, Dr. Chris Hughes. Uh, look, I just sent some blood work down for a CPK count. Yeah, I just want to make sure that there's a, a rush on it. Well, I hope you feel better. Call me later, okay? Well, oh, of course I will. Thank you for understanding, okay? Mm -hmm. oh. Hi. Oh, Chris, perfect timing. Listen, a group of the union reps are going to be at Al's Diner later. And uh, it's informal, but I'd like you to be there. Um, later? Like, today? Is that a problem? No, it's, it's just the first that I've heard of it, so... No, well, last minute, it's going to be status quo if you become chief of staff. Right. Reed's going to be there, and whoever inherits my position is going to be actively involved in the negotiations, and it's a chance to uh, meet with some of the top players from labor. All right, well, count me in. Sounds like a great opportunity to show which man will be best for the job. Then I'll see both of you there later. And Luke, I'll see you there in the uh, capacity that we discussed. Absolutely. back at him. Are you, are you sure you're all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Oh, oh, I get it. Sort of a new tactic, reverse psychology type of thing. No, I was trying to be professional. I would think that you, of all people, would understand that, Luke. Okay. Sorry. 
Well, listen, Bob's assistant got some information prepped for you and Chris um, about the hospital's situation with labor. I was thinking that maybe together the two of us could go over it. I could quiz you. It sounds like a plan. What were the cost of living increases in the last contract with the nurses? Um, first and second year, 3.4%. Third year, 3.5%. Yes! Okay, let's talk strategy. What is going to be the biggest item on the table this year? What? <laughs> when did you become Norma Ray? I know a little bit about this stuff from the mm. union negotiations, following that at WOAK, and I was a nurse's aide, remember? But you give one heck of a sponge bath. I'm just a very good negotiator. Are you now? Mm -hmm. Mm hmm Tag sales, garage sales. You know, very high pressure situations. Not everyone can hack it. Do you haggle? Absolutely. I bet we'd have a lot of fun shopping at garage sales. I bet we'd have a lot of fun doing a lot of things. Yes, we would. We will. What are you thinking about? It's just been a long time since I've looked forward to things. Hoped, you know. It's all because of you. Oh, shucks. No, I mean it. You make me very happy. You make me happy, too. me on those names now? Yes, yeah. back to work. Um, let's see. The head of the janitor's union. Um, Armando Pastrana. Nice. Orderlies? Oh, it's a woman. It's a woman. Louise something or other. Excuse me, I gotta take this, okay? Yeah. Oh Chris Hughes. No, um, okay. No, I heard you. Thank you. I can't find the timeline for the last negotiations. I know I just had it. How are you doing on that pension stuff? I'm fine. fine. I don't know if I should call Allison and check on Jacob. Ah, he's probably still napping. Maybe I'll wait. No, I should want to see how he's doing. I mean, I know he's fine, and to be honest, as much as I love him, I'm totally devoted to him. It's really nice to have a little grown-up time with you. I mean, I know we're working, but this is fun, isn't it? Uh, I don't know, but a part of me feels like a bad mother for not wanting to be with my son. Yeah, yeah, yeah um, you should probably just go. <clears throat> right now? No, we have so much to look over still. No, really kidding. Maybe, maybe you should just go. Um, thank you. But uh, to be quite honest with you, while you're talking, all you're rambling is just, just I can't concentrate with you here, so. Oh, I'm sorry. No, I didn't realize. Siri, uh, why don't you just go and um, thank you for all your help, really? But I can take it from here, so thank you. I'll just shut up. No, please. Please. I'm fine. I can do it. Thank you. Okay. I'll just go. I'll go. Katie, I. Uh... 